back for another very special bike of the day. This one here has been a long process in the build. It's gone through lots of iterations. It belongs to one of our good mates and it is his mountain bike slash gravel bike. This is an S-Swerf stuck jumper. Started life as a cross country mountain bike. Super light with rock shock black box forks and carbon roval wheels and all factory really, really nice parts. And over the years, this bike has been slowly becoming uh, basically a, a gravel bike, essentially. But very specifically, this is built for the customer's requirements for him to ride the places he rides and achieve what he wants to achieve. And we're going to show you what we've done to build this special bike. The requirement for this bike was to be the fastest possible up the hills. So suspension, not necessary. So not long ago, we put on this rigid carbon fork, which has really dropped a lot of weight out of the bike and made it a little bit more efficient again. Uh, this time around, we've just built some brand new wheels for this bike, which is why it's in the workshop this time. So these wheels are very, very nice. I've got a DT Swiss 240 hub, which has uh, got the high engagement star ratchet in the back. We've built them up to some light bicycle carbon rims. These ones are very fat rims to fit the profile of the gravel tire and make it the most aero optimized setup you could have. We've also put some really nice aero DT Swiss spokes, no, no expense spared. Schwalbe tires with TPU tubes. So everything's just light and fast on this wheel set. What we've also done whilst here this time around, we've got in some aero bottle cages, you know, faster, of course. And we've installed these carbon fiber bar ends inboard on the handlebars. So you can get in nice and aero and get out of the, get out of the wind and smack those KOMs and get some PRs going. So this bike is very light. We'll put on the scale shortly and we'll show you how light it is. Any guesses how much it weighs? Eight point six. And that's with pedals, bottles and cages, bar ends and bell. That's fantastic. That's a really good weight for a mountain bike. But uh, there's only one other thing we should probably find out. Does this bike do wheelies? Let's go.